Hi, I'm Ben Ingwall, and I'm an instructor in the Electronic and Audiovisual Systems Department at the Madison Media Institute. And today I'm going to show you how to install a 60 inch flat panel television onto metal studs. So the first thing we need to do is we need to look at the wall and see what the wall is going to give us for an installation surface. So the guys are going to check and find out the stud locations and actually mark the outside dimensions of the television so we know exactly what we're working with. We have determined that we have metal studs in the wall. As you can see, there's really not a lot of structural integrity to these things. Um, so what you have to make sure when you're trying to mount something that's going to have a fair amount of weight that would be pulling away from the wall, you have to make sure that you use the proper bolts. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to use toggle bolts. And what a toggle bolt uh, does is it allows us to use this metal piece. Um, we drill a hole through the metal stud and then we open this up and it allows us to distribute the weight um, inside of a metal stud. Then what we're going to do is we're going to attach plywood to the wall. It'll allow us to distribute the weight on the wall more effectively so at no point is the bracket going to be pulling on just one of the mounting points. We cut a large enough section of plywood to help distribute the weight on the wall and we're going to, going to very securely mount that plywood to these studs. Then we'll come back with the television bracket and mount the actual mounting plate for the bracket directly to the plywood. I think the guys are doing an excellent job under my crack supervision. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attach um, the actual mounting arms for the bracket to the television. Televisions uh, today, uh, almost all of them will adhere to what's called the VISA standard. You have a universal uh, bolt pattern that will line up with a universal bracket. So all I really have to do is make sure that the bracket is big enough um, to support the size and weight of the television. What I do is I find the mounting points on the back of the television and the bolts come with the bracket. So all I have to do is line up the arms relative to the mounting point. So I definitely want to make sure that this is secured properly. It shouldn't be loose, it shouldn't move. Um, just uh, hand tight with a screwdriver is perfectly fine. Um, the other thing you want to make sure of when you're mounting an arm on a television, if there is any adjustability, in this case uh, we've got this wing nut that allows us um, to adjust the tilt once it's on the bracket, I want to make sure that that's to the outside of the television so I have access to it. If it's on the inside, um, that makes access uh, difficult or maybe even impossible. Now that we have uh, the arms attached to the television, we are able to get the measurements that allow us to position the bracket and the television on the wall. What we have to do is we have to determine the mounting height of the actual back plate itself. So I've mounted the back plate uh, to the television and what that will allow me to do is capture a measurement um, of the distance between the top of the back plate to the top of the television. We will then transfer that measurement to the wall when we locate the television. 12 inches down from there, right? so, so what you want to do is you want to throw the back plate up and then make sure that we're not going to put one of our toggle holes where the back plate should go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to attach the back plate to the plywood um, using lag screws. Position the back plate, level it, and then put at least four of these guys in uh, to securely mount it to the plywood. Before we uh, put in a sizable lag screw like this, um, we want to make sure that we pre-drill. First and foremost, it uh, helps prevent the wood from splitting. Also what it does is it gives us a nice pilot hole so when the lag screw is installed it will go in straight. When I select a drill bit to drill a pilot hole I want to make sure that when I'm drilling into wood that I'm going to select a bit that is slightly smaller than the shank of the lag screw. So we're taking a moment to paint the plywood um, just to make sure that if at any point you see around the side of the TV that all you'll see is gray. And we just want to make sure that as much of our installation as possible can kind of blend in with the backdrop. 
So the guys are attaching the wall bracket to the plywood using the lag screws. It's important to use a level to get a good sampling of the bracket and keep it level as you're mounting it to make sure that the bracket is level and then the TV is level. Make sure that you put a significant amount of stress on the bracket. Make sure that it's not going to pull away at any point um, from the wall. Make sure that you're very comfortable with the fact that it will be able to carry the weight of the television. The last step in mounting any flat panel television uh, is making sure that the television is securely mounted to the bracket. Each bracket will be a little different. Um, sometimes it'll be a set screw, sometimes there are clips that you can engage, but there will always be some sort of mechanism that makes sure that the TV, the wall arms, and the bracket are all securely connected together, and under no circumstances will this TV come off of the wall. And it always helps with any installation to have a few uh, helping hands, and I'd like to thank Michael and Dallas uh, for helping us out today. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.